Construction. What's up, everybody? It's the Hardy Construction. You can find us at hardyconstruction.tumblr.com, youtube.com slash hardyconstruction, as you well as facebook.com slash the Hardy Construction with your host, Comp and uh, Dad. And today's film is Mom. Mom is a 1991 comedy horror film directed by Patrick Wren, written by Patrick Wren, who made the story actually, and uh, Kevin Watson and somebody else, whatever. Uh, stars Mark Thomas Miller, Gene Bates, Brian James. Etc. Etc. And some uh, one of the black cops that I know I've seen in every movie. Uh, it's about this during a time when the city of Los Angeles is terrorized by an animal attack style murders. Who wrote this? A kindly elderly lady provides a normal. Oh my God! Who wrote this? This is making me upset. Hold on for a second. Let me read this verbatim from how. Maybe it'll sound normal now. During a time when the city of Los Angeles is terrorized by animal attack style murders. Oof. A kindly elderly lady provides a nomad with room and board. It turns out he's a werewolf <laughs> and is responsible for the recent killings. He bites this motherfucker. Wrote he's the not movie. even a werewolf. He's not no, even hold a vampire. On, hold on. He bites the elderly woman, turning her into a hungry werewolf. Now her adult son must try to prevent the both of them from doing any more harm. Written by Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous, for that. Because it's a bad movie. <laughs> I fucking enjoyed it. Oh, by the way, this is bad horror movie month. <laughs> yeah, this is bad horror movie. movie month, so Danny already fucked up because it's kind of enjoyable, this movie. You you found this enjoyable? Yeah, I did. I found I'm it... Not, I'm literally not joking with you. I found it like... I can't tell you how many times I rolled my eyes in embarrassment. <laughs> you know what I think? I was embarrassed. I think... I think this is your rabid grannies. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Remember how you picked Rabbit Grannies and you were like, oh, it's all right. And it was literally the worst movie I ever saw. Like, I was like, oh, my God. I, I, like, I couldn't fathom what you were talking about. Like, This is, like, embarrassing to me. <laughs> like, it really embarrasses me. I thought it was all right. It was fu- Listen, any movie that has Brian James isn't that bad. Although Brian James is the worst, well, maybe the worst actor in the movie, but he's also the best at the same time. Uh, he's, the, he's the guy, right? He's uh, Nestor or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Ne- they gave him this, this old school French name for no reason. I like how they have the opening credits, and his name is Nestor Duvalier. Like they have his name, and I'm like Nestor Duvalier. What they gave this I character? I would never last name. allow a guy like that to move into my house. He's so creepy. Let, let's start out how the film. The he film sounds start- like a, like a rapist or something. That's what I thought. He should have had like a old like Janet Jackson style big black hat that said rapist on the front of it. That's what it right. Looked and like. he should have had like you know black uh, pasty stars over his nipples. We'll get to him in a second, but a uh, film. Well, actually, we'll get to him right now. In the beginning of the film, it starts out at a bus stop, I guess, in the middle of. Long, I don't know. Where are they? Somewhere in the boonies. Doesn't matter. And uh, I guess the father, uh, um, old man, drives this young girl, drops her off. Apparently, she's a slut. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I'm not slut shaming. Uh, she's a, a pregnant woman, although her actions are very slutty, right? Don't you think? She's she's a little questionable. Right. Her morals are questionable. She actually gets off. She's wear. I thought she was wearing a whole, like, a, like um, snakeskin outfit, but I realized those are just really thigh-high boots. Apparently, she's pregnant. Her father said, you're not going to be like your mother, and he just drops her off at this desolate bus He is stop. not going to be like her mother. I guess not. This. Her mother was not attacked by a rabid creature monster, man. <laughs> so she uh, she's dropped off. She asks uh, Brian James, if anybody remembers. Brian James was in everything. He passed away, sadly, a couple years ago. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, he was in... He's very... Uh, if you watch a lot of genre films, he's in a lot of shit. He was uh, in The Fifth Element. He was the cop that froze in the freezer. He's like... Uh, Okay. He has a very specific looking face. And I, it said he did some voices for the Spawn co- uh, cartoon on okay. HBO. He, wow, he died in 1999? No fucking way. Wow, that was a long time. Well, yeah, he was if in I were him, I would have just died after this movie was made. Jesus. Uh, he was in, uh, let me try to see you. Play anything else. Well, he was in Millennium. He played Sheriff Bowman. He was in uh, Blade Runner. Oh, Blade Runner. Uh, most, Who yeah, was he in Blade Runner? He was the first uh, replicant that goes bonkers when they're interviewing him. Oh, okay. So, uh, I, I've only seen the first half an hour of <laughs> Blade Runner. So that's it's actually a great seen. movie. I just... Like, I know, I know just, it is. Like, I saw it for the first time ever, like a few months back. I remember I was watching it, and then Edward James almost... Uh, what was his name on Dexter? Although I should have said... Yeah, he's in it. He's like this, like, weird... I was never going to mention yeah, this show yeah. again, but, uh, yeah, I remember him, and he was talking a language that's not, like, subtitled in the movie, and I was looking at the screen wondering what was going on. Anyway, so Brian James plays this, um... Obviously, very creepy dude. He's wearing shades in the in the middle of the night. 
that father was not very caring of his daughter. I guess he couldn't. He didn't want to deal with a pregnant young daughter. Right. Or she looked like thirty something. Uh, drops her off in the middle of nowhere in this bus stop in the middle of nowhere uh, at, at night with this rapist guy in a leather jacket hiding by the side of the uh, <laughs> bus stop. And uh, she's like, "Oh, you got a light?" And he's like, "He doesn't even answer." She lights up her own cigarette. Obviously, she was just trying to get some action going on, or she just wanted to talk. Yeah. I, I'm I'm afraid that the uh, rape uh, what was it? The rape centric people that are, uh, said everything was rape are, are thinking that I'm saying. Uh, she in this case, it. they're right. They were right. That guy is a rapist. He's a he's a, a flesh rapist. He, <laughs> That's what it is, a flesh he, eater. He uh, violates the flesh with his teeth. So what he does is he walks, uh, she says some. I forgot what she says. She says something or other. He comes up to her, and we find out that uh, he just begins to chew on her stomach. He eats her stomach out. Uh, cuts to how the film begins. We, we see the main mother of the film. Uh, you want to explain who, how her character is? Very apple pie, mom next door. Oh, uh, God, I hate her. Really? So- yeah. This no, really, so I hate every character in this movie. Uh, Emily Dwyer, played by Jean Bates, is a very... Supposed to be, like, this, like, nice mother, but, like, it just makes no sense. I understand it's a movie, but, like, okay, first of all, they credit this movie wrong. They call it a comedy horror. It it's, is. It's a comedy, a drama, a horror. It has no idea. At the end, it's a drama. Danny, this is very much a black comedy. I can't believe oh, you it can't tried, see it. The music in it and everything, it's, like, so dramatic. It, like, can't decide what it is, and it Danny, makes no sense. <laughs> I would say this is all... There are na- points where, like, where, like, she's crying, and she's like, Clay! I wouldn't say this is as over-the-top... Your mother! <laughs> uh, that's the funny part, see? I wouldn't, say this is as, I wouldn't say this is I wouldn't say I was laughing. I wouldn't say this is as over the top as serial mom, but I think it's the same vein, like very black humor. I like. don't see it. Of course. I don't but, see don't any you understand humor. the the whole point when <laughs> he gets angry at his mother cuz okay, so what happens is Brian James moves. I love the part that Brian James is like this uh low-voiced maniac. Right. And uh, he's able to turn into this creature. Pretty good. Sp- and she was like cool with it too. Pretty she, neat special she, effects. I think what it is, he turned her into a monster, and she's just kind of okay. You know, I got to go along with this. Yeah, but she's not a monster. Only when she's hungry, she's a monster. The funny part so is that he's can't. he's playing like a blind guy. Uh, I guess so he can kind of make himself look normal because normally he would look like a fucking freakazoid. He does. Yeah. And I like the part where he's tapping down on the on the street with his uh, cane, walking cane. <laughs> He knows exactly when to make a right to go to the uh, the house. Like, he knows yeah. when to turn the corner, even though it's in the middle of the fucking street. Anyway, so he goes in there uh, um, uh, by accident. She tries to feed him some regular food, but he can't. And he's like, "No, no, I can't do it." He's doing this. What, he like attacks her, and she's cool with can that. Can you do the voice? Can you do his voice? <laughs> no, I can't actually. He's My like, voice doesn't go do? that deep. He's like, "What are you doing? I don't want to eat that." He's talking like, and it's worse than what I just did. But he's doing that, and she tries to give him food, and she knocks his glasses over, <laughs> and he gets all upset because she sees his eyes, because his eyes are like this high yellow. Weird. What was that? That a was the giveaway. That did his I just say a racist? Eyes, his, not anything. I think else. I made a racial term on his eyes. I said high yellow. That's racist. <laughs> um, well, he could have just closed his eyes, you know, and waited for her to give him his glasses back. But then he just. <laughs> I like every time he attacks somebody. You could just put contacts in. The best part is when he attacks people as a monster. He goes, "Yeah!" Like that's how he. That's I just don't. Out. Okay, this is what I don't <laughs> like about the movie. Go ahead. First of all, there's this nice old woman. I mean, I understand. Okay, it's a movie. She has but an asshole. Nice daughter. old woman. She goes from a nice old woman to being totally cool with murdering people. But it's the like, ho- Danny. Well, it's it's like. It's like um, it's not even like like it doesn't make any sense. Think, think about Interview with the Vampire. Remember when Lestat turned Louis and Louis was a really nice guy and he was fighting it, but he but he felt help. terrible about killing right. people. Right, but she, she, they they're worse than vampires, I guess. Although he remember uh, Brian. No, because then she feels the so same. bad about her son and stuff at the end and sets herself on fire. So like, you know, she does retain her normal personality because remember person. listen if you don't think this is a comedy the part when they find out that i the, think it's an unintentional comedy no it's very much an intentional intentional i don't, comedy. I don't think so listen the, the part music alone god damn it Danny, hold on remember the part when the when the undercover cop jumps off the roof to kill himself yeah, for whatever yeah. reason and the and the uh, the son is like getting mad at his mother and he's like you kill an undercover cop, and she goes, "I didn't know." I'm like doing Adam Sandler voice, oh, but then God. he's like, "Well, if it was a homeless guy, you think it would be different?" He goes, oh, "I'd probably be less 
uh, you know, don't you get that joke that she said it would be? No, I understand that it's supposed to be a joke, but it's delivered in such a dramatic way with this music that is so dramatic that's that it the just joke. makes no sense. That's the joke, Danny. I can't no, believe you don't get it. It's it is. Stupid. You're the guy. You're the funniest guy I know, and I can't believe you don't get. I'm it. not funny, and it's just <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I think you're being funny right now. I think you're playing a joke on me. No. But anyway, I'm uh, you. This movie is just confused. It doesn't know what it is. It's retarded. Brian, Brian James turns the mother into a monster, and then they eat a, a electri electrical repairman, ele electrician. Sorry, I get, I cannot like, get that I phrasing find correctly. This movie, like uh, this isn't a movie that it's so bad it's good. This is just painful to me. I thought it was funny. It was funny because as like, soon as I as I was rewatching it, it's on YouTube, and I remember I started reading the word like all the people's comments they're like thanks for this movie this was funny and i was like uh oh did danny send me a good movie by mistake and i like is this supposed to be bad movie month uh, no yeah no no this is a horrible movie i even wrote on no, you wrote good. i can't believe there are people who think this is good that was my comment <laughs> no it was pretty good so then uh Easy. they kill the electrician and the the brian james doesn't Rah! you just gotta hear it just for brian james delivery it's pretty terrible uh, her son is Clay, who is a news reporter. <laughs> he is the most stiff acting. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty person. bad. Oh my god! But I, I, think, I can't believe you don't find it funny when, like, each more and more that he's on TV, he looks worse and disheveled because he knows his mother is a monster. But they and don't like just... handle it in a funny way. That's what's not That's funny the about point. it. It's funny. It's, it's funny not because he looks funny. Because <laughs> he looks like a fucking ghoul by the end of the movie because his eyes are all brown. But they make it slap. like all dramatic. Like That's it's the, him, like they're dropping playing it drunk. straight. It's him drunk and crying to sad music. They're That's, playing it straight. That's not funny. That, that, I'm sure you've seen some horrible stuff that happened in real life and laughed, and then you like watching this and it's intentional and you're not laughing. That's the funniest thing. It's, it's so, so bad. Badly handled. I I don't know. I don't know. I think the soundtrack is the killer of this movie for me. Well, that and the horrible acting. But like, no. Like, I don't know. It, it's it's just like it makes it like a drama. Like I like. It, I like within it the turns first... it into like a drama that thinks it's a horror movie. Maybe it's like within. The, I like that within the first twenty six minutes. <laughs> Brian James's character is dealt with already. Like he's a monster, and they set him on fire and kill him and get rid of him. And he dies in like 10 seconds. Too. Yeah, because he's like immortal or he's supposedly immortal because he said vampires, werewolves, they're, and ghouls are all the same thing, which I thought was pretty neat. And, and then, then like the part where he's tying the mom to the bedpost and she's like not resist. She has super strength, but she's not even like trying to resist as she's like howling and because stuff. Because I think she still feels guilty about her uh, son. Uh, about her, her kid or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Clay don't... has a pregnant uh, girlfriend. Um... She doesn't. She's just there, just for Ouch. last minute kind of dramatic reasons. Because we know that that monster, I guess, likes to eat babies or unborn babies. That in the beginning, and she's kind of just thrust in there as a plot point to come in later and just get eaten. And we get a nice fake out with her at the end. But um, you don't like Clay's <laughs> slow spiral into insanity. No, I think it's terrible. What I understand, it was like, okay, they. They they killed the uh, uh, remember Brian James I'm not gonna call him by Nelson Mandela or whatever Nestor, the fuck his name Nestor. is Nestor 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 Quick and he uh, he kills an electrician like I said before with the ah, sound and they I guess they bury his body in the f backyard or something and an electrician is there fixing uh, I mean who, not electrician uh, um, they killed an electrician and there's like, a bunch of guys putting gates because Clay ordered them to put gates in front of her window so she wouldn't go attack any more people. And the gate falls over. I mean, not a gate. Uh, the ladder falls over, which causes a pool of blood to come out. So uh, if a guy is like dead for two days, can fresh blood come out of the ground? Like, does that make sense? Or I don't know. I'm sure blood pools on the body, like on the back of it. Because I remember I fell down a couple of stairs, and my the my back was bl black because I fell, and like all the blood pooled there. So I don't understand how fresh blood could come out. But I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I I I don't I. Just, uh. I don't understand how you. You I'm don't like how the sun, I'm how getting this, angry at you for liking this. You don't like how Clay. Well, now you know how the fucking episode of uh, Rabbit Grannies was. I, Rabbit this Grannies is, is a terrible movie, but I just found it sort of this enjoyable. Is, this, this is so much you're better than Rabbit this Grannies. Is a good movie. The only thing that Rabbit Grannies is better than this is when they badly edited that uh, monster eating that guy's balls and they cut it out really bad. Um, but this, you don't even like the part where the mother's taking care of the son because he's all drunk and depressed. And she puts him in the bed, and they play the Betty Bye Baby song in the, the chords. And then he has to, like, treat her like a teenager because he won't let her out of the house because she's going to do something mean. 
Come on, right. I no, can't there's believe actually, you don't like, see it. I can honestly say there's not even one percent of this movie that I find enjoyable. <laughs> no, not even the dog, or the uh, nothing. The fake, nothing. the fake. Uh, um, what was that little girl who? Came I wanted in? the dog to die. I thought the dog was gonna die. No, I, I can't. Gonna... I, I, that's not true. I thought the dog was gonna be uh, getting eaten by her, but I guess she doesn't eat animals because the dog was like reacting to everybody that was a mutant in this film. You know what I like when Clay has a nightmare about his mother attacking him. That he... that scene was kind of cool. There's he... okay. Wait, wait. There were oh, uh, one or two cool special effect things in here. Yeah, they had good. The monster effect was pretty cool, but it looked like I've seen that creature before, either in Big Trouble in Little China or in um, Creep Show. You know what I mean? Yeah, it reminded me of um, Marcy Darcy's scene in Fright Night. Right, Man. yeah, it has a very similar extended jaw, big teeth, googly eyes kind of monster, with like a kind of monkey, monkey's nose kind of thing, yeah. um, uh, and hairy and beastie, whatever, beastly. And but th didn't you like <laughs> find it funny when the son Clay? Um, uh, what does he do in the movie? Oh no, wait. Why, why did Clay, when he had a nightmare of his mother turning into a monster, how was he able to picture her face as that sir, actual monster when he didn't see that? Because only... the movie is stupid. <laughs> also, what was, there's a problem here. They what? mention a character who dies right before Clay gets fired. He he's uh, finding out. This is I think after the cop got killed. Okay. I don't know whether it was the same guy or not, but he goes to. It seems like they cut the scene out of the movie, or they cut it out of YouTube. I don't know what happened. But he right. cov Clay is at a, the police precinct uh, with all these other news reporters, and they're talking about a guy that just got murdered. And you know, then he f they hear a name, right? And they say it's Doctor Elliot, whatever. Right. And I was like, okay. And then Clay is like, fuck, shit. Oh, that's God uh, damn yeah. They sent the doctor over to check on her. Oh, did they? Because I don't remember that at all. Unless I didn't, wasn't paying attention. They didn't attention. really mention it until after the fact. Oh, okay. Because I was wondering. Because I watched the movie. I was like, I don't remember the scene at all. But I yeah, guess it, it happened off screen. screen. I don't think. They just showed... Uh, I thought maybe... <laughs> the I thought... sister or something called... Or no, uh, Alice, the girlfriend, like, maybe called the doctor. I don't know. Someone I thought maybe the they had to cut it out. Like, his genitals were exposed in the scene. And they had to just cut it out of the movie or something. <laughs> See, that would have been funny. <laughs> you know what's funny? Also, uh, the first time when he has to... He obviously gets the willies from Brian James's character. Like, right. you know, because this weird guy who was, like, taking care of his mom. Then you really think about... If you really notice... Have you ever seen, like, these people that have, like, drug problems? And they're, like, 40 or 30 years old, late 30s. And they live with, like, 50 or 60-year-old, like, sugar mothers who are, like, 60s and 70s having sex with them and shit. Yeah. He th maybe he thought that that guy was fucking his mom. But they were actually just feeding homeless people and then eating them in the alleyways and shit. Yeah, and how is she so cool with this change of lifestyle? How do you go from like survival? She may, you know, she also mentioned that her arthritis was gone and everything, so maybe she kind of felt this new lease on life, but she just had to eat people. I don't know. Danny, if you got superpowers but and you had to eat people, would you feel so bad about it? Well, Louis does in 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 interview with a vampire. Yeah, I guess, but that's Louis. That was like in the French. Times. I don't know. They, I know it's a cared. movie, whatever. But it's just like. <laughs> I don't know. I think it failed in every. I really don't think it's that bad. You you think it's terrible? You don't you don't believe uh, the great actor uh, who's playing Clay has an actual breakdown? He is pretty. Bad. No, no. He's a pretty bad actor, but uh. He's the worst actor. Yeah, he really is. The the girlfriend is probably the best actor in the movie. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, there are about... scenes in this where the mom is trying to be all dramatic. Where I feel like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> yeah, the last ten minutes of the film are really overly dramatic, and the part where she says, "I'm your mother." <laughs> you God damn it! Was... Like I actually almost like that was me. funny. No, that was funny, man. I was no, laughing. Was like, "Oh, that!" Because she told him about cursing or something. I don't remember, unless that was something else. But then, like when they kill the hooker, and her wig falls off when she's pulling. That, into okay, the that part was oh, funny. Come on. The, the, the That's hooker. fucking funny. That part uh, was funny. I'll uh, give it that. Okay. Then fine. The, the, the um, Clay is like later on. Clay finds his sister and chopped up in pieces in a garbage bag. You tell me that's that fucking funny. That that part was a little funny, but the, that's what makes no sense about this movie is that like there's like five minutes that are funny. There's five minutes that are like all of a sudden like you're supposed to be very serious is, and feel bad the, for this mom as she's crying. That is the genius juggling of writing, dramatic and no, comedy. no, this isn't juggling. This is just like somebody like vomited a bunch of things into a bowl and stirred it around. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't think it's that bad. But like, what, 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 what are well? Are there any good things that you like about this movie? No. Wow, really? 
Really? I don't know what it is about this movie. It just rubs me the wrong way. You didn't like the busty hooker? It was okay, but like... I, I was wondering, I thought, because I guess the hooker that worked at the bar, she must have... The bartender must have been sweet on her, and I really thought he was going to come again towards the end and try to kill Clay or something, or it was going to be some kind of thing like that. Yeah. And I thought when the mother came back down from the room, she only ate that one detective, and... I thought she had pulled her teeth out instead of killing everybody. I thought it was going to go there where she killed even the baby and everybody else in the room. Uh oh, the unborn baby, but they didn't. It kind of had a safe ending. But it did turn really overly dramatic at the end, which is, I guess it's supposed to be. There are several overly dramatic parts. Even the part where he first blows fire at her and she's like, I'm not Nestor! I think what the movie was trying to do was a balance of comedy, black comedy and drama and horror at the same time. Kind of like trying to be like how Sean. Like, you know, Shaun of the Dead, remember how great that... Well, I think that movie's great. Yeah, I think it's great. And you know, when he has to deal with, like... He has to deal with his friend Ed and that kind of funny shit. And then, you know, with his girlfriend and how it's funny. But then when he deals with his mom turning into a zombie and how fucking incredibly sad that actually came out of nowhere. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Like, uh... Yeah, but but it made sense to the... (laughs) It made sense to the scene. That's what it is. It's like yeah, maybe this guy, maybe this guy didn't context in a way that makes sense. This is not in context. One scene, there's a perfectly happy mom, totally cool with killing, trying to kill like a Girl Scout. The next scene, she's like crying over something. Like it just makes no sense. I didn't think it was that bad. So what were the what's your, what's what were the bad part? What were the, wait, what are the bad parts of this film for you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I I would give this movie a six out of ten. Um, six out of ten gravelly voiced uh, strangers wearing shades uh, to hide their uh, 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 jaundice colored eyes. Okay. No, it's high yellow. High yellow. So, that was very racist. I can't say that. Go ahead. Okay. It's like a it's like a super high class fashionable Asian. And you're oh Jesus. It was you had that, to edit that no, one. no, no. High yellow is more for an African American light skinned person. That's why it's racist. So we should never okay. use it. Uh, uh, so what's your rating, Danny? I'm going to give this... I'll give it a 1 only... Wow! I'm going to get... No, seriously. I'm going to give it a 1 whoa, whoa, whoa. only because of the hooker scene. Okay. All right. Okay, you know I'll give it a 2. I'll give it whoa! a 2. Whoa! 2 out of 19. <laughs> no, 2 out of 10. Oh. Um, you know, uh, mom being tied down as she pretends to resist with her super strength yet can't seem to you know, outdo a guy who's, like, half asleep and drunk tying her with, to a, a thing with a string. She can't rip the string somehow. <laughs> and then going, Clay, I'm your mother! That sound, you sounded like the, the British guy yeah, from the Devil's Chair. Don't go in there! There were parts when uh, her acting sounded like, I couldn't think of what it, what it sounded like, but it was very similar to every other horror film where a person's voice is all, like, robotic. It sounded a little like... Oh, Eddie. I wanted it. You know what I felt like? I what? felt twin. This is what I want to remember. Uh, or I tried to remember. It, it felt like twinges of. I know you're gonna hate me for this, but Frankenhooker. Not as good as Frankenhooker. Oh, oh my God. Not no 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 nowhere near as good as Frankenhooker, but in the same vein that that guy was trying to do. That's she all I wanted to say. Trying and failing. <laughs> all right, so Don't Danny. Never insult Frankenhooker. So Danny, what's the final word? Oh, uh, uh, baklava. Deconstruction.